In terms of if there was one trigger, I don't know. I, I still don't know. When I was a teenager, you know, when I was a child, everything was perfectly normal. It was something that I slipped into and it took a heck of a long time for me to realise that I'd got a problem. Lawrence felt he couldn't cope with all the things in life. They were too hard for him and he imploded it. He, he actually punished himself. It just became my sort of um, way of just being able to cope with all those different things, really. It got to the point where it was kind of taking over my life a bit. The disruption to my life was absolutely tremendous and I was not able to function as a person at all. I was finding it difficult to leave the house. I was finding it difficult to function, even pretend to function normally. I've got no concentration, no attention span, incredibly aggressive, can't write. It's taken away so much. I'm still finding out bits and bobs. And what was so interesting about that is that I, I, I thought it was something I had invented. It was something very personal to me. Wouldn't have had a clue. Didn't know anything. And the little bit I did know was that that was something that you know young girls get. I was just absolutely confused. You know, I was, I was thinking, why am I in hospital in the first place? What is a gallbladder? What is a pancreas? Why, what is anorexia? Why, why have I got this? And acknowledging that I don't have the answer to this has been one of the biggest turning points. A mental health condition is a, is a hidden condition. Game disorders have no gender. I mean, anybody can be affected. The only difference is the way that it's viewed by society. It's someone that looks like a skeleton, but it's a whole different kettle of fish than that. For me, it was an identity thing. I've never been cool, I've never been clever, I've never been sporty. Anorexia was the first thing that I was and I could do well. It wasn't I would prefer to do this, it was I have to do this. The more we are lost, the more I wanted to lose. It's not about losing 10 pounds, it's about self-destruction. Well, eating disorders thrive on secrecy. So don't suffer in silence and talk about it. Break down those stereotypes so that men, you know, can get that help when they need it.